Hello friends. In this little small series, we are going to be talking about different things that raw vegans, different foods, items that people who are in the raw industry keep in their diets, but they're not really raw. Today we're going to be talking about apple cider vinegar. The good thing about apple cider vinegar is that it helps to flush a lot of the toxins out of your body. Apple cider vinegar has a lot of benefits. It helps to strengthen your immune system. It helps you to have better digestion. Now, apple cider vinegar, some people say that it is raw and some people say that it's not raw. Let me know below in the comments and tell me what your research has shown you. Is it raw or is it not raw? I know that apple cider vinegar does have a lot of benefits and I love using apple cider vinegar myself. This helps to keep me high raw. I love using it to marinate foods, to make dressings, for dips, to put in my salad. I love using this for a variety of different ways. I don't use it all the time. Just with all the products that I mentioned, I don't use them all the time or every day, but I do use them on occasionally and this helps me to stay high raw. Apple cider vinegar is also known to improve with heartburn. It lowers your blood pressure, improves hair growth, helps reduce bloating, also improves heart health, and contains antioxidants, which are great for. It also contains antioxidants, So apple cider vinegar is another product that many raw vegans use to help them stay high raw. No vegan that I know of is 100% raw. Even if they don't cook any of their foods and only occasionally have the, any of these products, maybe even once a year, they're still not 100% raw because they have it once a year. The point is, what I'm trying to say is, no one is 100% raw. I know some people like to claim that they are 100% raw to make them stand out from the crowd, that like they're the best or something, because they don't want to be high raw like everybody else, like me, like you, like everybody else is high raw. They want to be to be like the only one who's 100% who's raw. But really, if you look at them, you look at their diets, you look at the books that they've created, they are not 100% raw. They never have been and they never will be. I'm sorry, I, I know I said it, it's out there. <laughs> I'm not saying the, many, the people who, who like to say that they're 100% raw, but you know the people, you know who those people are who like to stress that, oh, I'm 100% raw, but you don't have to be 100% raw. It's okay not to be 100% raw, but I am, I'm 100% raw. Yeah, okay, well, I, have, I hate to break it to you, sweetie, but no, you are not 100% raw. You are high raw like me and like everybody else. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have to say it because it's just, every, everybody's been saying it in comments. A lot of people have been, I've been reading comment, people's comments and they've been mentioning, calling this person out. Um, I don't personally want to say anything about it, but it's funny because yeah, you can see and, and tell this person just wants to be the best like the only person who wants to be 100% raw, but that person is not 100% raw, they are high raw. Anyway, I better let you guys go. Apple cider vinegar, let me know below what your research has been. And this is another product that I like to keep in my diet. It helps me to stay high raw.